Um, I mean, obviously, as I just said to Jeff, it's a, it's a special place for us because it gave us so many good results. <laughs> so we want to continue that kind of a little tradition, if possible. We know it's going to be a very difficult game. It's will be a very close game, and anything is possible in this game because of of two teams meeting each other full of quality, full of good players, and and they have to they have to work it out there on the field. Uh, I have a tremendous amount of respect for uh, Juan Carlos Osorio. I think he's a he's a, a a wonderful coach. I think his record speaks speaks for it. You know, he came on board. I think he has uh, 15 games so far. He has 12 wins, two ties, and he has just one loss. Uh, and I know that you know a lot of people were disappointed, you know, with that loss against uh, Chile. But uh, you rather lose one game seven nil than five in a row one nil. No, so. There's always a game here and there that doesn't go your way. We had our lesson against Argentina in the semifinals. You know, Mexico had the lesson with Chile, so it's no, it's no big deal. I think there are a lot of very, very good high-profile coaches um, in Mexico and even outside of Mexico that go overseas, you know, and do their work. I mean, uh, Coach Herrera won the Gold Cup. You know, he's doing tremendously well with Tijuana. I, I know Chepo de la Torre personally, wonderful coach. So you have a tradition of very, very good coaches but you also have a tradition for not being very patient. Um, it's just wonderful to kind of to connect with, uh, with the different generations of the players and their experiences. And, and these three came in and they talked to the players, explaining to them their emotions, their feelings, you know, their pride that they had, you know, in those uh, uh, special games, you know. Yeah, obviously, you win games, you lose games with Mexico, but um, it, was, it was great because they shared their... their their feelings and you know when you now put yourself into the mindset of our younger players you know comes Cameron Carter Vickers you know comes through the ranks at Tottenham Hotspur and is on the way you know kind of becoming a senior national team player and he was just looking at, at them with big eyes and said wow look at these stories you know he's, so it's important that our older players connect to the younger players and tell them what it means to them, you know, what the feelings that they have, you know. And again, sports goes both ways, negatively and positively. Um, but it was uh, it was great having them talk in front of the team. And obviously, Frankie, Frankie, you guys know Frankie. He's a he's a character, and he gets the the guys going. So it was it was a lot of fun. I say that um, I hope that I start. Um, I think uh, you guys will see it tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm, I'll say it um, if I'm. In the squad, and I'm in the roster. I think I'm ready to go. When you see all this media, all this attention to a soccer game in the U.S., how does it make you feel? It's a clásico in the Concacaf. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a big game. Um, it's uh, it's nice to see how many attention it comes for that game. And um, but I would say from both sides, you have a good rosters. With all the respect to Mexico, they have a good team, and um, and I think in the United States too. So it's a it's a lot of attention in that game. Do you agree this is a sports war? Say it again. A uh, sports war. Do you agree with this? <laughs> nah, it's not a war. I think it's a it's a it's a nice game what we play, and um, I think we both both teams have a lot of respect to each other, and um, in the end of the day, uh, both teams want to get the three points for their country. Is it? Jermaine, how are you? Is there any physical issue with you, or you're 100 percent for starting tomorrow? Um, no, there's no physical issues. Um, I feel good, and um, of course, uh, I played just only three games in my club team. But um, yeah, I feel good. Um, I said before, um, when when I come to the national team, um, I want to play, and um, you know, yeah, who knows me know, know that I will go and try 100%. You said that this is not a war, not a sports war, not no. a soccer war. But do you guys enjoy the dos a cero campaign or school? I mean, uh, the rivalry, the rivalry. Of course, that, of course, that's that's the games. What do you want? And it's uh, this is like one of the biggest games you can get in in Concacaf here with America, and Mexico, and um, it's it's always nice to battle against. Like, they have a good squad. They have always good players with Chicharito, to Santos. Then uh, uh, can go a couple of other guys. And there's like they have a really good team. So we respect that, and it's 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 always a nice game. They have a good, nice squad, and, and both teams can win, and, and that's a good one on that game. Which team do you think it uh, fits better for starting the game, Mexico or USA? Say it again. Uh, which team do you think it's uh, better right now for starting the match tomorrow? Um, yeah, that's, that's that's a good question. We will answer that question after the game, but um, it's uh, I think both teams. Uh, what I'm saying before, we have both teams have good teams, and um, yeah, we have to see who comes better to into the game. 
Um, as, as we've talked about many times, we have uh, we have history here. You know, the, there's an aura and a and a mystique to, to this stadium, and um, obviously, uh, again, history history has has treated us well. Obviously, we understand that just because we're playing here, there's no uh, there's no guarantee that we win. Um, but again, the the atmosphere, the 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 way that the the games get played here is uh, is a very positive thing for us. What do you need to, to do uh, tomorrow to beat Mexico to stay over 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 there? The the same things that we always talk about, which is against the, a, a very good team, um, finding a way to to impose ourselves on them, make sure that the it's not a comfortable game for them and they're not able to do the things that they like to do, to spread themselves out, to, to start to play and find a rhythm. Um, you know, we want to use our our blend of, of uh, football and physicality and athleticism and, and tactics to, to give them a very difficult match. Michael, as one of the, of the most experienced guys here in the USA national team, what do you say to the youngsters like uh, Pulisic or Julian Green or those guys that are experiencing their first rivalry against Mexico. To enjoy it, um, these are the these are the best games to play in. Um, the most passion, the most excitement, the the energy. Um, this is what it's all about, and so um, you know they they understand that, and so it's just reminding them in moments like this to to enjoy it, and um, you know as as we always do, leave everything leave everything on the field. Mexico has bring. Uh, 13 European club players. Do you think uh, of what players of those can you say that are the most dangerous for you to cover tomorrow? No, the entire team is is uh, is is very strong. It's a it's a group of players that we have a lot of respect for uh, in terms of the the ability they have, the, the the experience that they that they have in the in the in the squad. And so like always we know that we're gonna have to be at our absolute best to, to win the game. Michael is, is, is this the kind of game that all the players want to play? Yeah absolutely. Absolutely. And are you surprised about the, the coverage and all the media in this game? No, the the, the build up to these matches is uh, is totally unique. Um, it, it's different than than any other game, um, and, and you can feel that in the in the air from from the second you get off the plane. <laughs> Yeah.